Hello friends, this activity is on the four skills which are very important in language communication. We have listening, speaking, reading and writing as very important skills in the development and in communication of a language. So I am going to read out a passage to you. Please listen intently and later on we will do an exercise on that. This is a conversation between two people, Tina and Mona. Tina, hi Mona, I don't see you in the bakery class these days. Are you unwell? Mona, no Tina, I am quite well. I have stopped attending because I did not enjoy baking that much. Tina, oh is it? I enjoy baking. I continue to go. Mona. That's good, Tina. We seem to have different interests, different tastes. I'll read it again. Hi, Mona. I don't see you in the bakery class these days. Are you unwell? Mona. No, Tina. I'm quite well. I have stopped attending because I did not enjoy baking that much. Oh, is it? I enjoy baking. I continue to go. That is okay. That is good, Tina. We seem to have different interests, different tastes. So this is the conversation between Tina and Mona. So after listening to the conversation, you must have understood these, you must be able to answer these questions. Who is interested in baking? Obviously, it is Tina who is interested in baking. Tina is interested in baking. Who is not interested in baking? Mona is not interested in baking. So Tina asks Mona, are you unwell? And what is Mona's reply? No, I am quite well. So what is the word? That has been used to ask question. Are. So these are called helping verbs in English. We use many helping verbs in English to make questions. So this is just an introduction to that. So I have given you just one or two. Are you unwell? So the answer is no. I am quite well. I am quite well. So when you say I, you automatically put am. When it is you, it is are. Are you unwell? No, I am quite well. So this is the answer, no. So these helping verbs will have two types of answers, yes and no. So if you are going to say, I am not well, what will you answer? Are you in unwell? Yes, I am unwell. So, when it is no, no, I am quite well. If it is yes, yes, I am unwell. So now there are a few more questions. Are they tired? Yes, they are tired. So this is third person singular and this activity has been done in the first or second activity. Are they tired? Yes, they are tired. If it is no, no, they are not tired. So there are a few questions. Are you independent? So what will be your answer? You must obviously be an independent person. So you will say, yes, I am independent. I am an independent person. I take my own decisions. I do not depend on anybody. I have independent thinking. In case you are not an independent person, you will say, No, I am not an independent person. I have to ask people. I cannot make my own decisions. That is what you will say. But it is always good to be independent. Are the children tired after playing? So, children is third person, plural. Are they? Are they tired after playing? So, what will be the answer? If they are tired, yes, the children are 
tired after playing. They have been pay playing for a long time. If it is no, no, the children are not tired. They have a lot of energy. So, uh, this is an introduction to is and are as verbs that can be used for making questions. So, this is the takeaway for this class. In the next class, I am going to take, I am going to deal with all the questions that I have given you in the previous classes. So, you have to try to answer this or something which is very easy. One who bakes, you know who that is. One who repairs taps. Obviously, it's an easy one and you should be able to write answers or find answers for this too. So, in this class, you have listened. I have helped you to speak. Hope you are all very confident and you can speak. And there is an activity which is speaking before the mirror. If you speak before the mirror, you become very bold and you are emboldened to speak. Practice that whenever you speak. And reading, you have read the questions and you will be writing the answers. Continue to practice these four skills which will automatically help in improving your English language and communication. Thank you.